Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So guys, my buddy Jason over at Wilson sent me something. Finally got it. Stay tuned. Good morning, guys. Coffee sponsor of today is at Art Wong 128. Um, at Art Wong 128 writes, notice that Arthur Wong of HK, guessing Hong Kong, was the video sponsor of your Yamaha Secret 04 review. My old stick. So I am keeping up with the Wongs. Wow. Good one, dude. Uh, smile, smile. I'm down in SoCal. Maybe we can review an old Fisher Pro number one one day when what I used after my Yamahas or a modern Pacific like my Pacific Raptor. I always play with unique brands. Wow. Well, our Art Wong 128, um, I hope to get one of those. I know Pacific is uh, super rare now. I think they're actually out of business. Um, the other one you used was Fisher, which I think they're kind of Europe only now too. But I think Pacific took over Fisher. Um, but if I get one or if somebody drops off a racket for me, maybe I can just kind of borrow it for a day and review it because I'm, I'm kind of interested in those rackets too but they're super super rare they don't really come in uh, too many and I don't really see them too much I might see two or three in a year so hopefully I do get one in though and if I do I'm gonna sneak it out and try it for you okay so thank you Art Wong 128 I appreciate the coffees if you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day Network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. Thank you all so, so much. We got dark roast Yosemite today. All right, so my buddy Jason from uh, Wilson contacted me and said, how come you haven't uh, reviewed the Shift 1820 yet? Because I didn't get one. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'll send you one. <laughs> there it is. Wilson Labs Shift 18 by 20. 3 8 grip. So a lot of you have been asking me, hey, when are you going to try the 315? Well, when I get it. <laughs> so I finally got it. So let's string it up. And maybe do some numbers on it before I play. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, so just got it off the machine. We strung it with Luxlon ALU Power 125 at 52 pounds. And immediately, it feels good to me. <laughs> immediately. I like the weight distribution that's here on down like it just drops kind of like a burn 100 to me you can as soon as i put it in my hand i can feel the drop i can feel the weight towards the head um, let's let's check out the specs uh, with it strung now i took off the plastic on the handle because it does weigh a little something something Three thirty. Two. All right. Let's check out. Let's check out the balance, which is what I'm feeling right now. Ooh, that was fast. Okay, so 30, 
you know, it's real close to five. 324. I'm liking this thing already. Let's check out the swing weight. All right, swing weight time. Three thirty-four. All right, let's talk about this a little bit. All right, so let's take a look. I'm liking that number for sure in a stock racket. I'm loving that and I'm loving that. <laughs> the only thing I'm not loving is that. <laughs> so um, I think Jason and I both agreed when we were talking in person that I wish it was a 1619. But maybe they know something we don't. So I guess the proof is in the pudding. Let's go take it out and give it a shot. Um, as you guys may have known from a previous video that we did with the shift 16 by 19 and the lighter weight. So there's a combination of a couple technologies going on here. Flexing this way, it's like a standard racket, a la Ultra, a la Burn. Flexing this way, we have Clash technology. So it flexes in two different ways. So I've explained that to you in the past. I even said, what does it matter how it flexes this way? Well, because the swing path is not straight back and straight through. It's not like this. It's like this. It's like this. So it has to flex somehow this way. So that, like, that was a light bulb moment for me. Um, so with the added weight here, let's see if I enjoy this one more than the 16 by 19. All right, so let's go out and give it a shot. All right, so we just got off the court. Oh yeah. The shift, 315, 18, 20. Oh yeah. Coach Goo, hopefully you're as surprised as I am. I am very shocked <laughs> compared to the last version that I tried to 99, 300, right? Yes. Um, but no, this 99 and 315 gram racket, I was so shocked. I mean, this shift racket, I think, if I had compared this racket to, it would be the closest to that 18 Yonex 95. Yes, it's that red beauty. Um, it is close to it. This is the closest in my, in the modern day era rackets. Um, reason why I'd say it, even though it's an 1820 string bed, it definitely does not feel like that. And that's what's shocking to me because it almost plays like a 1620. Um, Maybe it's through the design of it. Um, the flexibility of this racket is insane. It's almost as close to that 95 Yonex. And um, feel-wise, same thing. Really close, really, really nice when it hits the sweet spot. Um, sweet spot's also very precision-based. It's not a big sweet spot as most current rackets are nowadays. So if you're a player, you have to be making sure you are very precise with your contact point. Um, Feel-wise, I mean, it definitely feels, you can feel the racket really moving all together, even on contact. Um, so if you're definitely have, yeah, actually have this racket, or if it goes onto the market one day, I think you should definitely give it a shot. It is very surprising and it almost, it is almost close or very, very close to that 
to that 2018 Yonex 95. All right. So what Coach Goo is talking about is a magic racket. That's, yes. that's a V-Core 95 red from 2018. But it's a new Wilson. Form. Yeah. It's so, an old racket. I wish this was 1620 or 19, and I wish some people, and I think some people at Wilson agree with me, but I agree with you in that it doesn't feel like an 1820. It has yes. a lot more power than that. It has a lot more feel than that. Yes. The weight is perfect. It cuts yes. through the air beautifully yes when you hit the ball you know you hit the ball yeah you hit it well it does what it's supposed to do yes and that's a good ball yes i was i mean if i was a wilson guy this would be my racket i i would <laughs> say that too as well um i don't know if it will come back to the market it's still it's, it's, i think it's coming it's, it's coming. coming but um it, i was super shocked about it i mean this is a racket that is really close to that racket that i love uh, i yeah this is the um, winner the this is way better than that light one like yes. way better like we had mixed feelings about that uh 300 gram 299 gram this version is, this is the right this is the right way this is the right weight the right balance mm -hmm. um the right swing weight like everything i don't know if i even need to customize this i racket. don't think so either in my opinion i didn't need any weight i think the weight was there um i would say like if i had to customize it don't no, I That's don't the think only so. one I that you so. this is the only racket i would never customize actually i it's, would literally it feels like it, my so. burn it feels like my burn actually really? yep the, the one that you waited yep. yeah i think yeah. <laughs> for me it's just the 95 and i mean that's how i compare that's, that's my standard like if, if it's good good racket it should be like the 95. yep and this is very 95 like even yes. though it's 99 like 99 <laughs> and an 18 by 20 string bed perfect so we did alu 52 on this and it was yeah. beautiful it was beautiful yeah i don't that's that's pretty much it it's that good like i'm almost speechless how good that was winner winner chicken dinner you buy this shift yeah. By the heavier shift. The lighter yeah. shift might be for maybe a woman. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm, I have no comment. I am leaving it as that. <laughs> but um, I would say definitely if they put this out on the market, this would be a contender for sure. A uh, contender. So let me explain to you the technology that please I figured do, out. Please okay. do. Okay. So they've, the Clash has a lot of flex this way mm -hmm. and this way. Yeah, I didn't know they measured it this way until they educated me on it. Yeah. So both super flexible both ways on the Clash. Gotcha. This one is like ultra coming this way. Yeah. And Clash flexing this way. Hmm. Ah, that's interesting. Right. So I asked, I was like, what does it matter how it flexes this way? They're like, well, because we don't hit it straight through like this yeah if we hit it straight through like this then the only flex that matters is this it's because we swing like this now that the flex matters going like this too that makes sense i could see that right so we got two worlds here combined mm -hmm. to make one united shift wow <laughs> very inspirational Harry. i'm so deep aren't i all right <laughs> coach Q. Thanks for shifting with me today. Of Where can course. we find you? You can find me at agu.tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. All right. When this comes out, and if you like you like me, like the Clash and um, Burns, uh, Clash Pro that is, and then the Burn 100, Burn 100S, any well, kind of racket like that, or V-Core 95, uh, Pro staff old, users. Pro staff users, you will love this racket. It's easy yeah. access to power. I love the weight. This is definitely the winner. This is probably the best um, weight distribution racket I felt in a while. Yep, no customization no needed. No customization even needed. So I would say highly suggest to try this racket out. All right, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Coach Good, check yep. this out. Swing Vision got new commercial out. Oh, check out his James Blake right. and yeah. Ronick. Oh my God, he's still playing. I mean, he's still playing. Whoa, whoa, Ooh. what, dude, dude? That's damn fast. I can do it. I can do it, dude. Back in the day, I could, I could do that. I could totally do that, dude. You can do that.
You can do that. Let's go, man. We can show them how it's done. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's all go. All right. All right. All right. 85 miles per hour. That can't be right. No, that's definitely right. That's definitely right, man. 88 miles per hour. That's not a gigawatt. One more, one more. Watch me, watch me. 78 miles per hour. Hey, man. <laughs> Something wrong with this program. Nah, that's just you, bro. L you try. You try. Right, Let's okay, see what I'll you do. It. I'll do it. You're going to go 69 right here. 127 miles per hour. You can check out your serve speed on Swing Vision 2. Doc, we got an issue.